Hey Taurus, Everlong Mystic here. So, I'm going to get you a message, and the message is going to be based on a couple, a couple poetry cards that I pulled for you. And originally three came out, but two seemed, two seemed the most appropriate for you, just intuitively. So, we're going to, I'm basically just going to re read the poem and then pull some cards on it and do the same with the other. I originally intended one, but two is good. Two is good. So, the first poem we have for you, Taurus, is, it says, I heard an old religious man, but yesternight declare that he had found a text to prove that only God, my dear, could love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair. So, <clears throat> this here is talking about it really doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter, you know, what kind of pretty package you come in. That um, it's really what's inside that counts, right? So, and and it does, you know, it does talk about loving you for yourself alone. So this might be a little self-love section. I don't know, but we're just going to get a little message with this card. All right, for Taurus. old religious man that reminds me of Hereford too. Alright, what does Taurus need to know? Alright, we have two of swords here and this <clears throat> this feels right now like a decision that needs to be made when you do not have all the information. So it's trying to, trying to choose something. It's like rushing, it's kind of like rushing to choose something, um, but you shouldn't. You should not, whatever this is, you should not decide right now. I don't know if this decision is related to um, your appearance or someone else's appearance. But you are missing missing some information. This information is being is just not available to you. I don't know that it's being kept from you. It's just not available because <clears throat> because we have eclipsing here. Eclipsing doesn't mean doesn't doesn't necessarily mean to me that it is a person or someone, right? Because it's more of like a an astrological event, right? It's more divinely controlled. the three of pentacles here and this is this is probably one of the more confusing three of pentacles just for me because i really i never get collaboration with this card i never get collaboration it's the mountain that that throws me off because this is a great feat right it's it's a there's there's some kind of major accomplishment that wants to be done or some kind of roadblock that or hurdle that needs to be overcome but there is some there i mean there is some kind of dynamism here about something about the foundation it's like it could be something where you just simply need to remain grounded before you approach this mountain because there's this magic at the bottom it kind of reminds me of the three I don't know, like those three figures at the base of the Yg Yg Yggdrasil tree. However, I always forget. I need to. I need to read up on my Norse mythology. I always forget who's at the base. But yeah, there's something. There's something important about either the base, the base of what's going on, or just grounding yourself. Something foundational. You know what I mean? And I want to say that that's part of the information that you're missing with this eclipse here. And if we do go back to the poem, it says, God could only love you for yourself alone, not your yellow hair. So it's not really about embellishments. It's not about the accessories, right? It's about <clears throat> the S, like the base, like your base, you, the base of you.
So what is it that you are not happy with? What are you not happy with, Taurus? This to me feels like loneliness, but not like, I don't know, not like the typical loneliness. Like this is, this is like the kind of loneliness where you could be in a room filled with people and still feel alone. Feels like not belonging, like not 100% belonging somehow. And I wonder if this, this, this feeling here, this, this kind of feeling of being down has something to do with why this decision wants to be rushed. Some, it feels like because because of this right here, it's like you got the swords out. Come on, come on, I'm ready, I'm ready. You know what I mean? Like you're sharpening your, your swords, getting ready to make that decision because it's fueled by this. And I mean, we kind of all know what happens when you make decisions out of desperation. They don't necessarily work out the best. Aha, see, <laughs> we have the Empress, this is, <clears throat> that's perfect because this is the base of you this is the beautiful you this is the you that the universe or spirit or god or source or whatever you want to call it that loves for you alone this is you alone you know and i guess that's no i mean i guess that's the reason i was getting such a lonely feeling with this card because really, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. The other people don't matter when it comes to loving yourself and being loved by the divine, especially. Um, you know, it's 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 all about you. You and and here we've got this. You know, this this base, this strong base, this strong foundation. So that self love is a strong foundation. <clears throat> And it will help eliminate decisions made from desperation. And you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of like, there's a lot of fear that comes into making decisions as well. Sometimes with people, I'm not saying with you specifically or all the time or whatever, but, I'm, but with this Empress energy, the way that she is, this tree is beautifully lighting up the nighttime here. It's, it's like the, it's not, it's also about not being afraid. You know what I mean? There's, there's a lack of fear here. Because here, this, with this lonely, this lonely feeling card here, it kind of, it could it could develop into fear it could fester it could fester into fear and you can make bad decisions because of that so i like this okay all right so we're gonna we're gonna go to the next card here and see what this is about it says i have spread my dreams under your feet tread softly because you tread on my dreams now here, this, this is talking about number one, being very vulnerable, letting yourself be vulnerable, because if you, I mean, if you have some, something that's very precious to you, your dreams, right? And you just spread them, you spread them out for anyone to see and to step on, right? That is, you're putting, you know, there's risk in that. You're, you're risking someone shitting on your dreams or something, or you know what I mean? Trampling them, ruining them, whatever. So there's vulnerability there, and then it's, there's trust, because this, you know, they're saying tread softly because you tread on my dreams. It's like you're trusting, 
something or someone to not, to not crunch, crunch on your dreams, you know what I mean? Don't stamp on them. So, let's see what, um, what Taurus needs to know about this. Taurus, vulnerability, dreams, trust. Ooh, the hangman. Now that's different. So here we've got some kind of new perspective or being able to see in the dark or some kind of alternate way of getting information. together. I kind of want them next to each other. <clears throat> Actually, this one came out first. Alright, so we have the Ten of Swords, and I could see that the Ten of Swords could be a feeling if your dreams were trampled on. And you know, the with this justice card, I'm I'm just getting checks and balances here. Like um, checks and balances, like things things even out, things work work out on a on a bigger scale, kind of. You know what I mean? So it's like you need a different perspective on. Whatever this ruining, I mean, because I'm just seeing this as the ruining, like so, like if someone did not tread softly, somehow you let your, you let your dreams be tainted by something else, maybe something out of your control, maybe something in your control. I think that's what the perspective is here, that the, <clears throat> that the hangman is trying to get you to see. Just because we do have this, you know, wanting to make quick decisions over here and this kind of down and out over here, it almost makes me think that this might have actually happened to you where you, you let yourself be vulnerable and someone ruined it. They took advantage of it somehow. It's like, I mean, it could have been so bad that, I mean, like, there's even a sword through. Oh my gosh, that's a bull. Oh my gosh, Taurus. So there's even a sword through the eyes, right? It's like, they. it's like it, it made you feel so bad that you couldn't even see your dream anymore. You couldn't even see your dream anymore. And that's, and that's a very dark place to be. And that's another thing I was getting from... The hangman is being able to see in the dark. Because, I mean, we have justice here, and that's that's balance. It's a balance of light and dark. It can't be all dark. And you deserve dreams. Everyone deserves their dreams. like you will you're you'll be able to trust again if you're in a place where you can't trust right now because I don't know if this is <clears throat> recent or way past but the more intense the experience the longer it stays you know you don't want to come out So yeah, I was gonna say you. F I feel like you're getting. You're gonna get more. Either you. You're getting more grown up, or you're gonna get more grown up. And then we do have this Son of Wands, who is standing, stand. I mean, like standing straight up. Get you know, like like getting, getting used to their power. You know what I mean? This feels like someone getting used to their, getting familiar with their power. 
Because you do have the power to be, you know, yourself. The power to be vulnerable, the power to trust. Is there anything else for Taurus? Okay, so we have the Mother of Cups here, <laughs> and this is uh, Taurus, you know, using your intuition, especially especially when times, you know, times that you feel like something's been ruined for you. Because the Mother of Cups, she is surrounded by sparkles in the darkness, right? And it's those sparkles, it's like those little sparkles in the darkness that that we you know we can we can kind of go into like when i'm thinking about like meditation sometimes when i meditate i will see like spheres of light or i'll see little sparkles and sometimes if i'm in a good space you know very very grounded and in a i don't know in more of a trancey kind of state i can actually focus and go into the sparkles i can actually make them get bigger or smaller I have a little bit of control and that's what this son of wands is doing is he's learning control right so and the, and the mother of cups is pointing straight at this it's like learning it's like learning to have a little bit more control when you feel like everything's fucked you know what I mean because that's going to alleviate some of this here just this tangled, discombobulated feeling of, I, I, I can't even, or you know what I mean? It's like control, and I like that it's right lined up with the Empress here too, because this Mother of Cups, I mean, it's, it has the word mother, right? And this Empress is a very motherly, and this motherly energy, and this is, this is, I mean, again, it's about loving yourself. Love you for yourself alone, Taurus. All right, here's your message. <clears throat> I thank you for being here. I thank you for embracing your inner mystic, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Taurus.